Hi everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. My name's Natalie Adams. With today's video tip, we're gonna have a look at how you can get more distance from your driver. We're gonna have a look at strike, we're gonna have a look at the technique of hitting the driver, and we're also gonna talk about speed. Put all those three things together, you're gonna to be hitting your best golf shots ever. So let's go and have a look with some more game-changing golf coaching. <laughs> Today we're going to have a look at how to get you hitting your driver much further. Um, there's a few things that we need to talk about in order to do that. So first thing I want you to think about is uh, where you're actually connecting with your driver. Now the easiest thing to do if you're not sure on this is you can get a strike spray or you can just get athlete foot spray and if you just spray the face of the golf club with this light white powder it will uh, leave the powder on the club face and then when you go to hit the ball it'll leave a mark and then you'll be able to tell where you're striking the ball from now for maximum distance you need to be hitting from the sweet spot so the easiest way to find out if you're actually doing that or not spray the face and then you'll see where the marks being left for every kind of quarter inch that you are away from the sweet spot you're going to lose 10 percent of distance okay so really important to get that ball hit from the sweet spot so first thing actually find out where you're striking from spray the face hit a few balls look at where your impact mark is and then you know whether you've got to work on uh, improving that strike position and getting it more from the center Okay, next thing we're going to look at is uh, a little bit about technique. And then the final thing we're going to look at is speed. Okay, so for technique, one thing I want you to check for is how you're actually addressing the golf ball. If I just come over here to the golf ball and I set up, if you're setting up more in this kind of position here, where you're kind of tucking uh, your bum underneath your spine you're sort of sitting down a little bit too much here you're not going to be able to rotate really well so the biggest thing here is we've got to get you into a much more athletic posture so one thing um, you could have a go at doing at uh, doing here take your golf club place it behind you so you've got the back of your head touching that golf club and also the bottom of your back in contact with it Okay, so that's now you're standing up straight from here. And what we want to do is just work on keeping those two points, either the back of your head or the back of the shoulders there and the bottom of the back, tilt forward from your hips. So you're hinging from your hips and then just soften your knees just to take the pressure out of the hamstrings. Okay, that'll give you a nice straight back rather than this sort of sitting position where you're not creating any hinge in this area here okay so we just do that once more so we're going to tilt forwards just soften the knees and then let the arms dangle in that position there and that would be a great setup position there don't worry where the ball is just get used to being in that setup position and then once you're starting to get more aware of that feel then you can start to come in address the ball and you can still work on getting into that really good posture position rather than this position here which is not going to get you to rotate well from that position at all now hitting the golf ball far is all about being able to rotate and turn your body really well so we want to move away from this kind of swing where you're lifting your arms up and you're not getting a good rotation into your body we want to see that that body as you rotate back you're really getting a good turn into that body you're getting your chest pointing away from the target you're getting your back to the target and one thing that can really help you with that is to get the hips turning so I've just got an alignment pole here just swap my clubs over here and what I'm going to do here if this was the uh, target line for me okay I'm going to put that club at a 45 degree angle 
And then with an alignment pole, I'm just going to pop it through my front belt hook here. The loops on my trousers. There we go. Okay, so now what I can work on here is, as I go to swing my golf club, if I'm going to get a good turn, I can work on getting this alignment pole to rotate round. So it's rotating round to a minimum of 45 degrees there, but that's going to allow me to get a really good turn into my upper body. If I just grab the club back and show you that with the club now, rather than just lifting the arms up. So we want to move away from this kind of swing and we want to move more to really getting a turn into the body. So thinking about rotating your belly button to the right, turning that body round to the right, getting a really good rotation. Power is all about turning. And when you've turned in that way, you're now going to create a lot of coil in your body, a lot of torque, and you're going to be able to rotate back. Now, it's no good making that turning action if you then don't turn back to the ball in the right order. So next thing we need to look at is you've rotated your body to the right. We've got a really good rotation in the body here now, but it's no good if you now go and lead down with the arms first, body's not turning back. That's going to uh, waste all that power. It's going to get the club moving too quickly, too early in the downswing. So what we've got to do here is make this really good rotation on the backswing. And then we want to get the uh, legs moving first. So we need to get a little bit of shift into the left side. So you're starting to push out of your right foot into your left side and then we want to turn the left hip and get the pelvis turned back towards the target but we're still waiting to hit the ball with the arms we haven't got the speed releasing into the arms yet so sequencing on the downswing really really important go through that once more really good rotation in the backswing okay so now we want to shift into the left side turning the pelvis and then once we've got into this position here that's when we can release the arms and release the speed into the club head now a really good drill to help you uh, get that happening would be to use a step drill so if you set up as though you were going to hit normally what I would do is just get you with your right foot just pull it in towards your left start the club out on the left of the ball here as you swing the club back past where the ball would be step out with your right foot and then immediately back in and swing the club back down okay so I'll just do that once more set up normally right foot in this will help you learn to push out of your right foot before you swing your arms down so club starts here swing the club back as you swing the club to where the ball is step out with your right foot straight back in again and swing through and then start to build the speed up in that but it'll help you get your pressure driving towards the target you can also do it the other way around so if you stepped your left foot in we're going to swing back big turn step out and then swing through as well both of those will help you uh, get sequencing better on your downswing. But if you do the right foot out and then in as quickly as you can, as you're rotating round, as we did to start with, that'll help you get driving over to the left. We also want to make sure that you end up with a really big finish. So once you've swung through, we want to see that the hands get way back past the left ear, Get that club right round the back of you, all the way finishing on that left side, showing the sole of your right foot completely up. We don't want to finish back in this sort of position or with the hands finishing up here on this side of your head. So again, just make sure you complete the swing all the way through. 
Now, one more thing I just mentioned at the start was we need to look at speed as well. Because with all good intentions, if you're moving well, but you're moving slowly, you're never going to hit the ball as far as if you're moving quickly. So we also need to train speed into your golf swing. The easiest way for you to do that, and again, you can do that at home at the moment, just turn your driver this way round. So we're going to hold the shaft at the head end. And we're just going to work on making a baseball swing just at this height. Now, if I swing back and through at this speed, there's no sound coming from that club at all. So what I want to work on doing is really turning my body well on my backswing and then getting as loud a whoosh as I can as I swing through. I'll do that once more for you. Swing back and then as loud a whoosh as you can as you go through. And just work on making that whoosh noise as loud as you possibly can. Doesn't matter how it sounds to start with, just on the next swing, go for it being even louder. And keep doing that and swing absolutely flat out. Maybe only do it for sort of maybe three or five swings maximum, but really try and get a lot of energy into that whoosh. And also, everyone, make sure the whoosh is on this side of you if you're a right-handed golfer. If you're hearing the whoosh on this side of you, you're releasing the club too early. Um, I've just done uh, a really good video using a toilet roll to help you with that release and getting that um, whoosh onto this side of you as a right-handed golfer. So have a look at that, but it's exactly the same sort of thing. So we're going to swing back here. We don't want to get the whoosh here. We don't want the speed here before we hit the ball. We want the whoosh over here and really go for it when you do that. Okay maybe three or five times and then just relax from it let yourself recover we want an explosive movement there to get you as fast through the ball as possible you can mix that with the drill i mentioned before so again put your feet together as you swing back and then stamp your left foot into the shot so that you're getting a mix of sequencing and speed there. But if you put all of those components together, we get the centered strike. We've got that real acceleration as you go through the ball here, really good turning action in the body. You're gonna hit the ball as far as possible. Let's put it all into practice here. Let's see if I can hit a, a nice drive straight out to sea. Well, I won't be seeing that ball again. Just go through the main points again, work on uh, having a really good posture to start with so you can turn your body well from it. Hitting big drives is all about making a really good turn. So work on rotating the body, get the speed into the release through impact. We've talked about a few really good drills that'll help you with that, uh, but that should definitely get you hitting your best drives ever.